absolute frustration is what it is. Wendy Cabin and her husband Jeff are worried with the U.S. land border closures now extended until at least October 21st. They may not make it down to their Arizona property for the second year in a row. The retired couple has been traveling to Mesa, Arizona for more than 14 years. Last year, due to COVID-19 restrictions, they were not able to use their property, a property they are still paying for. It works out to probably around 12,000 Canadian that was wasted last year. On Monday, U.S. President Joe Biden announced the land borders will remain closed to non-essential visitors. The ban, however, does not apply to air travel. I think the b biggest problem for snowbirds is not understanding why you can fly but you can't drive. A frustration felt by snowbirds across B.C. According to the Canadian Snowbird Association, 70% of snowbirds travel with their vehicle. As I hear from many of our snowbirds, it's much safer for them to be in their vehicles driving across the border rather than having to go through airports. It's a concern for Camilla Labine, who says her family has to travel down south every year due to her husband's medical reasons. We just can't live here in the winter. It's too cold and my husband gets very, very sick. This year, Labine had hoped hope to drive down with their dogs in their camper van. It's still possible, in a way, if you get creative. They might be able to ship their RVs down there and then fly into the U.S. That's an option, but again, that, that's, a, that's a pretty costly option for them to exercise. Jade McElroy is the VP of Bid Buy Importers. Normally, they ship commercial cargo for businesses, but due to the land border closures, they are now helping snowbirds get their vehicles or RVs across the border. When we saw um, how many people needed to get across and wanted to get across, we have a website and the inquiries just flew in with people that were like, can you just get my car across the border? It's an option some BC snowbirds are saying is just too expensive. They don't have like $1,500 to $2,000 to show up. So for now, many who want to head south are still anxiously waiting, hoping that in November the border reopens. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.